Hey, what is up guys? Mr. Reverts here, and today I want to talk about COD points. Now, if you haven't heard, COD points are actually getting delayed until the 21st of November, and of course, that's also when you should see the 1,100 COD points appear in your inventory for the players who got the game online. But before I go any further, guys, I want to talk about the gameplay really quick. I'm playing some Kill Confirmed on Gibraltar using the PPSH, and I believe I go 34 and 8 with this gun. It's pretty good. It's a good rushing tactical style of gameplay, so hopefully you guys do enjoy, but Anyway, Sledgehammer did not give an exact reason as to why the release date for COD points were delayed by uh, by one week, but you can kind of infer that it was because of the numerous issues with the game, such as the in-game connectivity, the headquarters not populating, etc. Like, it's already been well over a week now, and close to two weeks actually, and some of these issues are still in the game, but since COD points have been delayed, I think around that time is when we can expect a fix for most of these issues. Because I really don't think the main cash grab tactic of Activision would be public when the game is having this plethora of issues like why even bother having COD points in the game when players cannot even connect online that's just gonna turn players off from buying COD points and obviously that is not what Activision wants and I think they have learned their lesson from Infinity Ward because last year for Infinite Warfare a good 60 or 70 percent of that game was missing like there was no leaderboards combat record game battles integration was gone things that have always been in a COD game were either missing or we're not even just there completely and there's also another community of members who are battling against their own loot system uh, Battlefront 2 those guys man I've done some extensive research about this game and the loot system and my god I thought COD was pretty bad but uh, the loot boxes are seriously a huge scam in that game now they have since changed the cost of the heroes like Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker are down by 75% but what they have failed to mention is that they've also cut the rewards down by 75% also so for example if you completed the campaign for the game instead of getting 20,000 credits you're gonna get 5,000 credits so literally EA is straight up saying screw you guys to the Battlefront 2 fans and I just hope that things can change for that game or else it's gonna be going downhill really fast it's gonna lose a good portion of its fan base and I do not want the same thing to happen to Call of Duty because I love this game I love this series and I just think that the only way that Call of Duty fans will uh, will ever not buy uh, this game anymore and the game will just fall off is because of its own double-edged sword every year the game is one of the top selling games it's one of the best games of the year but again the only way Call of Duty will ever die is by Call Call of Duty its own self if that makes sense now uh, if you are seriously against supply drops and COD points well to be honest they're not going to be going anywhere because for one Activision makes too much money off of them and two so many people will buy them uh, the main argument that players use is that oh just don't buy COD points and they'll go away but there still is a good percentage of the player base who really don't pay attention to social media who don't follow youtubers or the COD community and don't understand that they are being taken for a ride with the rig system so again, supply jobs are not going to be going anywhere. However, we can change the system and how it works. For example, with the Star Wars guys, they downvoted the response that EA gave on Reddit into oblivion. Like literally, I think it has the most downvotes ever on Reddit history. And again, eventually they changed the system. And even with COD, as of now, everything can be unlocked via credits. And eventually, when they add weapons to the Quartermaster, which likely will happen, you're going to be able to earn them by saving up. So my advice would be to start doing that now. And and as for supply jumps, I'm not completely sure if you can unlock new items by saving them up, but I think the only way we can figure that out is when a new update rolls out with new items. So guys, in other news, double XP has now been removed and we're going to be going back to the regular standard 1 XP. And if you guys have played already, tell me what it feels like because you guys find it a little bit hard to level up. Do you guys find it slow or do you think we should go back to the original double XP system? Because for me, thinking about it, I'm actually okay with this progression. XP system like if you get to the max rank that should be the highest honor in COD and I feel that a player should really have to grind in order to progress instead of being spoon fed everything because that is what makes the game fun for me but anyways guys again I'm pretty sure that most of the issues for World War 2 will be fixed within the time period of now until COD points come out and I think the delay was a good move by Sledgehammer PR especially with all the backlash that EA has been facing over the past couple days now so I want you guys to tell me your thoughts about this in the comment section down below also drop like if you guys did enjoy and thank you so much for watching until next time I'll see you later